Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Jordan with PictureMonk.com uh, here to show you another quick tutorial on tilt shift effect. Uh, getting a tilt shift effect in, photo, in, fact, effect in Photoshop is really easy uh, without having to go spend thousands of dollars on a tilt shift lens. Now, a tilt shift lens is actually a lens that is uh, not, a, not a fixed lens. It'll, it'll move around and it'll basically control um, what parts of your image are blurred or have a, de a shallow depth of field on them. So uh, this, if you're going to do this effect in Photoshop, it typically works a whole lot better when you were shooting down on a subject. Uh, as you can see here, this was shot down uh, on a street, uh, down onto a street from a parking garage. So uh, this effect should work out pretty well. Um, it's a really easy effect to do and you know it sells it pretty well so what this will basically look like at the end is sort of like a miniature model sort of thing so this whole um, this whole photo will basically look like it's a, a, a model that somebody put together sort of sort of thing uh, that's the best way I can is, is, you know describe how it, how it looks so um, so what we're gonna do is just have our image here uh, this image will be locked so just unlock that layer uh, and then make a duplicate of your your photo. Uh, you can drag it down here and make a duplicate, or you can hit Command J uh, or Control J, and that'll create a duplicate as well. Uh, you want to take that top layer and blur it. So we want to do a, uh, a Gaussian blur. So go to Filter, Blur, and then Gaussian Blur. <clears throat> and the range is going to be different depending on what type of photo you use. So uh, I'm going to start out with about uh, 5.2 blur radius. So go ahead and click OK. And since uh, we don't want all the image to be blurred, we can do this one or two ways. But I, this way right here I found to be the best. So we want to make a layer mask on top of this image. So there's a little layer mask button down here. Just go ahead and click that. And that'll add a layer mask to that top uh, image there. Uh, now we want to go ahead and fill this whole layer with black. So go to um, Edit, fill, and then make sure black is chosen. And that'll bring back, basically what it's doing is it's hiding anything we did here. So we can toggle that on and off and it looks like it did nothing. Um, so now we need to paint back in the blur effect. So now we need, since this is black, we need to get a white brush. So hit uh, D on your keypad, uh, keyboard, and it'll change your foreground color to white. Uh, and now we want to make our brush pretty large and just paint all the way across here. I'm going to make sure you're, you're opacity your fill, all right? <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, 100. So now we just need to paint across. So uh, I use, I hold the shift key to make a perfect straight line. So uh, holding the shift key, just sh hold shift and click and drag all the way across. So you can see what it did there, it blurred out that area. So now we're going to do the same thing again on the a uh, little bit below. It's because I want this area where the car is driving, I want that to sort of be the focal point. So I'm going to do one more. Make sure I'll go down a little further, right around there. All right. So now we have that blurred effect. Now we want this area down here to be blurred out as well. So. I'm going to decrease my brush a little bit more because I don't have as much room. And I'm going to do the same thing. Just hold shift and drag across. Okay, there you go. So that kind of gives it like a miniature model feel to it. Um, if you do feel like you have too much over here, uh, then basically just change your color, your uh, foreground color over here to black. And you can do that by pressing X. Uh, and that'll give you a black brush. And then you can paint it back over to reveal more. So there you go. That's a quick and easy way to get the tilt shift effect in Photoshop. There's tons of ways to do it, but I just found this one to be the easiest. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Check out PictureMonk.com for any more videos and tutorials. We usually post every day. Uh, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. <laughs>